What up, y'all? <clears throat> Welcome to the nation. Monster Nation, that is. I'm your host, Mr. Monster Man Rocco, or should I say your president, mentor guide. I'm the, the landlord, the janitor, the tenant. I mopped the damn floor. How should I get on that song? Janitor, I mopped the damn floor. It's on the third album. Go check it out. <clears throat> Joe Budden is foul. He fouled Joe. So Joe Budden did. Joe Budden did a terrible thing. It's no excuse for it. Joe Budden was on. Somebody sent me a video. My peoples sent me a video with Joe Budden. I think it was from his podcast or whatever it was from. I was listening to it more than I was watching it. He was talking about how all of his his uh, former peers, basically rappers in general, rappers overall, whenever they get that quote-unquote round bag money from, you know, somebody who wants a feature, who may not be an a notable person in the industry and all of that, you know, somebody off the street, somebody trying to get their they, they record, you know, their career off the ground or whatever. In many cases, those people come to rappers, established rappers, many or multi, multiple levels of established rappers. They go to them and if they got enough, you know, they got, they, they, they can meet the asking price or sometimes a little more, sometimes less, whatever it's, they can, they can come up with enough money to turn the rapper's head. He will take that money and he will give them a feature. Sometimes it's out of love, but most of the time it's, out the, it's about the bad. Joe Budden said that most of those times, no, 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 no. He didn't say most of those times. He said all of those, in every one of those, in every one of those cases. Who did he say was? Le'Veon Bell, if, if, if I'm messing it up, I'm sorry, right? I believe he said he paid for a feature from some established rapper, got back some trash, right? And he said the song will probably never see the light of the day. I probably, I don't know if I screw homie name up or whatever, but, you know, it, it, it is what it is. Somebody paid some money for a track from a, an established rapper, and he sent him back some trash. And what Joe Budden said is... He gave you trash on purpose. And every time that one of you brown bag boys or one of you guys who are not so established, every one of you, every time you pay one of us rappers for a feature, it is the rapper's full intention to give you some trash. Joe Budden, that is foul. But that is true. <laughs> it is true. Except for me. And I can say that. I can. I. Here's, here's a chance when I get to tingle. So I'm, I'm usually on here all humble. I'm humble. You know what I'm saying? This is a chance where I get to talk my shit. I dare one of you niggas. Or any 10 of you niggas. 10. 20 of you niggas, 100 of you niggas, that shit rhyme right there. See, I make a bars by mistake. One of you niggas, 10 to 20 of you niggas, even in the number 100 of you niggas. That was, that was like, but anyway, what I'm saying is this. I challenge any one of you, anybody listening or watching, to find a feature. You type in featuring Rockness or featuring Rock of Helter Skelter or featuring Rockness Monster, featuring Monster Man Rocco. Whatever comes up on it, whatever pops up, play it and go to, and listen to my verse. Now, a lot of what Joe said was very true. Sometimes these niggas don't be that good. Sometimes they don't. You understand what I'm saying? So you might, you know, you might. Like I usually, I don't. He also said we don't be wanting to promote these shits. Because sometimes these niggas don't be good and you don't, you know, we, and and nobody's ever going to hear this shit. Nobody. Like, if you don't, if if we don't promote it, we, we, we don't want our fans to hear us rapping with this subpar rapper. 
You understand what I'm saying? This or this in our opinion, subpar rapper. But and we and we also know that if we promote it, you know, like that means that's the only they going now they gonna see it. You know what I'm saying? But these we we also know that these dudes, these budding or these try these rappers trying to get they shit off the ground and all of that, they're probably not going to be able to take it to a place where people can hear it. And a lot of the times, these rappers aren't stellar. You understand what I'm saying? And in my in my most humble opinion, a lot of these time, a lot of the times, these rappers are at least decent, and they need their shot. And besides, sometimes they be trash, right? But the way this just just I just have something in me, right? Like pause, like. I have a really hard time writing and spitting something that I don't like. Like, I don't take no bars off. Like, I don't care. Like, I'm telling you, I dare you to find a feature that I did where I spit some black shit. I dare you. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I have... Like, it be times when... Like, I'll lay a verse down and somebody, like, like I'll, I'll lay down my verse, right? It won't be nobody's verse on the song when I lay my verse there. And then they'll, I, when, I, when I hear the song back, it'll be, my verse will be third or whatever, right? And they moved my verse and when they placed it, it don't lay on the beat correctly. And if the beat don't lay on, if the, if the verse, the rap don't lay on the beat the way the rapper intended it to, it could take a whole, it could take a lot of the impact out of it. You understand what I'm saying? If if it's if it's in the wrong place, like if it's in the totally wrong, it it'll make your verse sound trash. One time it was a it was a song on the Smith and Wesson album. It was like the uh, what's that song on the? Forgot which album. I think it might be the Reloaded album, but like I believe the whole boot camp is on it. I rhyme on it last. And when when the engineer placed my placed my verse or whatever, he, he might have shifted the verses around. When he placed my verse on there, he he placed my shit a half a bar off, and that shit sound trash. It sound trash. But I guarantee you, if you could get your hands on an acapella of that verse and just listen to it, or put it on you know, for any DJ nigga, you understand? What I'm saying? I wish I could. I wish I could think of the name of the song. If y'all know the song. If y'all know this song, it's, a, it's on the Smith & Wesson album. If anybody know it, put it in the comments. I'm going to have one of my DJ niggas or one of you DJ niggas. Y'all do some of y'all magic and shit. And place that beat one half a bar over. I mean, place the verse one half a bar over and you will see my shit laid down. Mwah. You understand what I'm saying? Shit is... It meets rockness, monster, bar, heavy barsmanship standards. What I say, you about to see how really this smacks you upside your head, smacks you upside your, smacks you upside your head with a, with a cat bow, Gilligan, something like that. You about to see how really this smacks you upside your head with a cat now, Gilligan. It smacks you upside your head with a cat bow, Gilligan. Something like that. I said a P is on it. The not P say the nine straight blam you running wild, funny style, dice clay Andrew. I believe he said that on it. If y'all know that song, it's on one of the Smith and Wesson down albums. I believe it's Reloaded. I could be wrong, but that's the only, like, like that verse was placed a half a bar. It comes in a half a bar too early. Like when the beat drop, I wait. And they go, you about to see, like, like kind of the same way P started his verse. If the beat drop, boom. Yeah. The nine straight blam you. Run that wild, funny style night. And think, yeah, I think that was his verse. But anyway, my shit went, it's like a, the beat drop, boom. You about to see how I really, but the way that the way that the engineer dropped it on it, he put it right on it on the. You about to see how I really this it it, 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 it it didn't work. But anyway, find any one of my shits. You understand what I'm saying? And what I do, and see, here's the thing, and here's proof. Well, I don't know if this is proof or whatever, but this this is this is my reasoning, right? What I've come up with to to mitigate or to alleviate the. The stress of giving a nigga a dope ass verse that ain't nobody gonna hear is I've come up with the Slang and Rock CDs, which is the Slang and Rock series, which is I got volume one out. It's on my band camp, you know what I'm saying? Go to you know, follow my socials and go to my band camp, right? Um, what is it? Rockmanspcc.bandcamp.com, right? 
Slang and Rock Volume One is on is, is on there. It's just a mixtape of all my features. You understand what I'm saying? If your verse ain't that good, or it's mid, or you know you ain't really my fans ain't really trying to hear you, but my verse it's gonna be it's right on my mixtape. If your verse fire fire like that, you then you got a spot on the rock and monster mixtape. So that's how I I uh you know I what you call it I rectify pause. <laughs> I that's how I fix that. You know that's how I deal with that. And something else he said that was this listen. Joe was spitting facts. I'm just like I'm saying he foul playfully. I can say that because I'm not guilty of this shit. You understand what I'm saying? I can I can say he foul because I'm still a rapper. I can also say that he's telling the truth because it is true. It is true what he's saying. Just not with your boy. You understand what I'm saying? And I got and, and, and I got thousands. I I got thousands of features out there. I mean I'm sure I got go to SoundCloud and and type in Rockin' This Monster. Tons of sound. I gave tons of sound SoundCloud niggas a play and all of that shit. You understand what I'm saying? Gatekeeper shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna give you a shot. You got the you can can you serious inquiries only? All right, let's go. You know what I mean? But I would love I, I would love for you to explore the features of Rock This Monster. You know what I mean? Um, yes, I have been in the studio and have and been writing for a feature. And wrote some kill, 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 kill. And was like, nah, he can't get this. <laughs> he can't get this. I'm gonna talk this, and I, I, I might have something sitting in an old file somewhere that I could use, or I could, or I could probably scribble something up. But I'm not gonna never give you no trash. Not your boy. It's not Monster Nation. I wouldn't be a monster. I wouldn't be. I'm, 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 listen, in real life, I'm not a scary guy. Next guy. Well, on the track, I'm scary. Every time. You understand what I'm saying? Unless it's a non scary song or something. A song that don't, really don't fit. But on the beat, I'm scary. And how I'm going to be scary and trash at the same time? It don't work. I don't like it. Y'all wouldn't either. But um I'm just saying, the proof is in the pudding. Go check me out. You know what I'm saying? Um go check out the new boot camp song that's out right now. What's called what you call strength. You know what I'm saying? Secretly that song is actually a song over crown still. With me and my boy Rusty Jux. You know what I mean? But my man Drew High heard the song. He was like, yo, we could do some things with that. We was like, cool. We was planning on doing some things anyway. So now y'all got what you call strength. Ether Rocks is also out. I got new singles dropping off of that. Video, so stay tuned. Um, Like, comment, subscribe, rate, share, do all the things. Um, If you made it to the end of this, you made it to the end of this, 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 this video, just, just, just put exclamation. I'll, I'll, <laughs> just put four exclamation points down at the bottom because, um, Cause Joe, that was some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? That was, that was, that was some bullshit. But we all right, though. Salute to you. Rock on. Rock on.